husband weak. At what seems to me the worst level performance orientation can produce shrikes. A shrike is a bird which tears its victims apart muscle by muscle. In humans a shrike is a person who gathers all the righteousness to herself or himself, more commonly a woman than a man. Usually a mate, often the husband, has no room to express righteousness and acts out the role of the villain. Usually, in such persons, performance orientation is combined with sibling rivalry. The child learns to ace out the other siblings by acting or outperforming for whatever scraps of parental praise were available. And with bitter root expectancy that others will fail to serve as well or do right at all, Bitter root expectancy in a shrike broadcast to the mate 24 hours a day. Do wrong, do me in, I know you will. Make me into a noble martyr. That's the way I expect life to go. That's the role I play without admitting it, though, see. One lady came for counseling wanting to know why her husband was such a weakling, falling again and again into a drunken drug binges. Now, she was a paragon or model of excellence of virtue in dress, morals, poister, church attendance, and prayer life. You name it, she was it, the super saint of the church, 
Oh, but beneath her behavior was not pure love for others, but a self-serving need to be perfect, coupled with bitter root expectancy that the man her father had been, a drunkard, would be weak. I sat and watched as they entered into a spat or argument. Everything but her actual words screamed at her husband, her demand that he be the weakling she needed. Understandably, the more secure he became and the less he binged, the more upset rather than glad she became. Her whipping post was deserting her, see. Her ability to feel good about herself depended upon being able to contrast the failure of others against her own supposed virtue. This made her the perpetual noble martyr, supported in all those feelings by her Job's comforters in the church. Isn't she a wonderful Christian living with that awful man, folks would say. Tragically, she is far from an isolated case. The pattern is almost endemic or naive. One man not fully understanding the truth, he was shouting at his wife as he beat her. You're so perfect. You're so perfect. His inner being knew what he hated, though his mind didn't. He had never yet had a real wife, only a performing shell. Shrikeism happens to women more than men, not because men are better, they aren't, but because women are built by God to want more to please than men, and so they fall more naturally into performance orientation than men do. Lacking physical power, women learn as girls to use emotional wiles, and forgetting that may unconsciously use performance to ace out the husband and play the noble martyr. Men tend to rebellion more often than to compliance or, or flexibility, but having been raised with controlling mothers, they are more susceptible to performance for a wife than those less apt to be shrinks.